is going on gamers, Evatrix here and today we're gonna go ahead and try to beat the best score so far in the new game mode and uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can beat this Archdemon now the best score that we had so far was a little over 450 million um, but I saw the comment section I saw a lot of requests to do Succubus so we're gonna go ahead and give it a try we're gonna see how Succubus does the team for the most part stayed the same from before the only difference is is that I'm gonna be using Succubus over Harpy Queen and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the end to see how much it jumped in damage now of course I think that Arctica I might not need Arctica but the problem is is that Arctica the freeze from him at the beginning is huge I might have to take a gamble take out Arctica and then um, you know just just use a ton of slowdowns to maybe get the, the best amount of damage I was actually thinking about uh, using Druid because a lot of people forget that Druid actually does add an attack um, buff to your heroes so that could be huge on top of the Cupid buff and on top of the uh, pumpkin duke buff that's actually the the old way that everybody used to do like a regular boss but since there was a damage cap people just seem to forget about druid but i think druid might be essential i just don't know if by the lack of arctica or warlock or even ice demon um if they uh if the arch demon would get to my santa boom because if he gets there we might be in trouble and the thing about this one is, is that once you drop a hero, it's on. There's no redo. There's no trying all over again like the boss. It's 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 done. So I have to be very careful on this next one. On this one, I do want to see if I do better damage. It actually looks like it's doing about the same. I'm not really seeing like a huge increase. So by a minute and a half into it, it looks like we took about half of the bar from the boss, which is essentially about the same as uh, the 450 plus million damage that we did before. So that's kind of interesting. Another thing I wanted to address on the last video, um, I did realize that the damage at the top was basically from one go and that there was a 500 uh, is a 500,000 damage cap. I put it in the comment section and people still was like, oh, you know, it's it's only on one go or this and that. It's amazing to me how people just skip the comment clarifying and they just they just go ahead and put their own, own comment. <laughs> I was like, wow. Do you when you guys watch a video and you go and, and go ahead and comment on the video, do you not see the first comment or maybe the description of the video? Because I feel like a lot of times people don't actually take a second to see because I'm pretty sure my comment was the first one all the way at the top because they had like 20 replies, a ton of likes. So there's no way that you could have missed it un unless you were just like focused on replying to me and you know like uh <laughs> um so it looks like okay so the damage definitely went up it didn't really went up by a lot though so i think it's time i think it's time to bring in the druid let me go ahead and take the uh, slowdowns from arctica put it on druid i think it helps that he does have berserk um from way back in the day when berserk druid was uh was really what you wanted for a healer so it's basically the same lineup, but we're going to be adding the Druid. Now, the start is going to be the most crucial because of the lack of the freeze. Uh, it, I really hope the slowdown kicks in. It's going to be really interesting. Uh, everybody pretty much has slowdown except Pumpkin Duke. Uh, he does need to be in an artifact though. Um, Axe of Strife needs one, so why not Druid? Even more damage. Perfect. Looks like everybody that needs to be there is there. The team is all set up. Let's go ahead and do it. So again, we're going to start with the Santa Boom because his slowdown is going to be key. And then we're going to lead off with the Druid. Oh, he's going to hit me. Oh, he slowed down. I think, I think we're good. Oh my God, look how close that is. That is way too close for comfort. I don't know how I feel about that. It looks like we were able to get it off though, but the slightest of things that goes wrong, I think that run would have been over. 
but it looks like everything is in place look like uh, all the procs are going the pumpkin duke stacks are going the cupid uh, buff is going I see the druid buff so now let's see just how much of a difference just druid himself does over an Arctica. it looks like druid is doing a hefty amount though as far as adding to it uh, I'm seeing that part progressively go down um, which is interesting because the only switch that I did was the druid uh, looks like we're halfway there already actually more than halfway there and we're only about a minute and change in used to be that um, the half the bar was about a minute and a half and that we're, we're definitely making progress here um, we should get to about one complete bar I would say maybe 20 seconds and then the rest is just going to be even more damage that we have done before uh, this is going to be interesting now seeing how much of a difference druid is making makes me think maybe a skull knight isn't the best option because skull knight is very single attack so maybe if i replace a skull knight with somebody like a beast tamer that maybe would add to even more damage because it's going to be two heroes that are going to be buffed by pumpkin duke by buffed by cupid and buffed by druid that might actually add up to even more damage than a deadly strike skull knight um maybe even over succubus but i think succubus might be more reliable damage than skull knight either way though it looks like druid is doing a ton of difference here um can we get to two complete bars though that is going to be the interesting thing here we have about 35 seconds to go okay it's looking very close we got about half a bar to go to do a complete two bar Ooh, this is gonna be interesting 20 seconds can we get there Ooh, doesn't it doesn't look like I think we're gonna miss it by just a little bit of damage maybe a beast tamer might have been the difference there two heroes in one it might have I'm not too sure but let's see where we end this run at 726 million so Druid, the insertion of Druid made, all, I think it was almost 300 million damage difference. That's insane. I think we found another game mode where Druid is going to be very, very reliable. Now the beginning, the start of it was actually pretty rough. If you don't have a Santa Boom or something to slow them down really, really fast at the beginning, it might not be uh, something that you can do. But if you can replicate this, uh, I would uh, I would imagine that it would be probably one of the best things to do. Um, I actually want to know what the people at the top are using. Uh, where would that run actually rank me though? Uh, so it looks like I'll be around the 130 mark, which isn't too bad. Uh, so I'm going to keep working on this. Maybe try to uh, tweak the team a little bit. Uh, don't worry about the Facebook notification. It's not even happening. Forget about it. But yeah, if you still use your Druid or uh, you're using Ghulam everywhere, kind of like how I'm doing, it's time to, um, to really start using this Druid because you guys saw just how much of a huge difference Druid did. And mine is only 7 of 10. I can only imagine what he would do at 10 of 10 where the attack uh, increase would be even more. Should I um, maybe invest on Druid now? Now it's got me thinking. Uh, I, I don't think I will though because I have other heroes that have to be worked on like Beast Tamer, um, Lady Leo, Medusa. I have a lot of heroes to work on still but uh, I think that I can still improve my, my team. Maybe I can replace Skull Knight with a Beast Tamer. I think that might be the move because I do have a few Beast Tamers. I could possibly double evolve them and it is two heroes versus one. So it might be more consistent damage. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Um, but yeah, I think it's time to bring out that druid, guys. Get that druid out of the retirement. Uh, it's time to bring him back. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And until later.